welcome back to my channel i'm going to share the bits and pieces that i've been picking up over the past couple of week so i have just got everything out on the desk but i'm gonna move it all and we'll go through it one by one right so the first thing well i've got them all laid out on the desk already i got a bunch of the mini distress inks um i'm not going to go through every single color but i've got these uh some of them were in a pack and that I got from Amazon, surprise, surprise. And um, the rest are singles that I bought from a craft website and I will link that down below. Um, I'll just show you the swatches of the um, Distress inks. So I think now I've got a nice uh, range of colours. I already had more of the earthy tones. Um, so yeah, I think I wouldn't mind just a lighter shade of green possibly maybe even a couple of different purples um but i've been really getting into using these actually and i've just been using either the the blenders that it comes with like you can get these little sponges and then you stick them to the blender um so i've been using them or i've been just been using some oval makeup brushes so i bought these they were super cheap for a pack of 10 i think i paid about nine pound for obviously i'm not going to use them on my face um but they're ideal for the distress inks um this is what i've used for doing the swatches and there's i, I can't pull it down because it's up on the wall now but the dinosaur picture that i finished um, i used the distress inks on that right so let me do push this out of the way so i keep them all now in my acrylic container that's just in front of me so that's easy to find oh just before i forget i have to show you it's not actually color well it is sort of coloring related because it is by jasmine beckett griffith and i got a mug and it's super super cute oh like it's got a little dragon isn't she cute i mean it's not the best quality mug that i've uh, that i own but um i mean i could I'd be worried about chipping the edges on this one but she's so cute isn't she and it come with i've not actually looked at this i think this is a discount cord of some sort for a diary i just love the box i think i'm going to use this it's like a pencil uh, holder i might even pop it in front of me there and then whatever pencils i'm using on a certain picture keep you might as well keep them in that with the lid off but yeah so i've been drinking my cups of teas i've already been using it Put it back in the box to show you pretend that it's uh, more professional when i'm actually i couldn't wait to use it the first day that i got it i think i've had that now for about a week maybe a little bit more uh i'm gonna start with the coloring books so i've seen a couple of people oh i don't know if, i think i showed this as well look at my dinosaur swatch book i finished a load of dinosaur stickers i bought that one actually but the rest of them I pinched them off at Isabel magazine, a CBeebies magazine. So Alan Roberts, Beauty of Horror, number three. And this is the one out of all of them that you've got out at the moment that I fancied the most. Um, so I will just, I mean, I'm not gonna do flip throughs of these because there is um, flip throughs out there, but at the back there's swatching pages. Um, create your own coloring pages so the werewolf there's uh, a few wallpaper pages but there's not too many so i'm not uh, not too fussed about that but i do like the double page spread how cool is that i was thinking am i gonna color in this am i go just gonna color in the uh, you know october time coming up towards halloween but no i can actually see myself doing some of these pictures you know whatever that's the one that I've seen, Colour with Claire. She's finished with that one and that was amazing. Yeah, it's just something different. That This is my favourite one actually. It's of the whole book, the double page spread where she's coming down the log flume and it's probably with jars. It was meant to be jars, I believe. Yeah, just something different. I think my husband looked at me weird when he saw me flipping through this. I'm like, what on earth is that? So that's beauty of horror i think i need to oil my chair listen to this it's 
it's not going to do it as bad now that I'm trying to make it to do it. I think I need to oil it, yeah. I got another copy. I know the other one's soulmates that I've got, so I'm really happy that I've got spirit animals. I know it's the same boot, but if any of you, you have seen the amount of mixed media I've used in that other book, it's crazy how thick it's gone. So I'm happy to have a second copy and basically start all over again. I don't know if I'm going to do as much mixed media as the last one because I do find it fun. And I think it's the same quality paper. It feels like it anyway. It's the off-white, like the ivory colour. Everybody's seen this by now. I think this is probably still my all-time favourite Hannah Calzon uh, book. That's why I've gone ahead and bought a second copy. It was on offer, I think it was, I had it on my wish list and it was like 13, 14 pound. And it came down to about eight pounds something. So right, right now, now's the time to buy a second copy. Got Magical Delights by Clara Markova. I still feel out of breath. I've just been out for an hour and a half walk. <clears throat> and it's windy out there as well. Uh, so this is the one that I was missing out of the whole collection. And I, can't, I couldn't help myself. I just need to finish the collection. So this is an oldie, but it's a goodie. It's a nice one. I like to call these my more fancier boots because they did cost a little bit more and the shipping, etc. But yeah, they're just really cute, cute pages. I always lean towards using e either Ink Tense or the Faber Castell Albert Duras, the watercolour pencils. Um, so yeah, I'm over the moon at that. that um, Little collection is complete now. Uh, along with the Furry Topia by Mystic Art Mirrors, I went ahead and bought the um, Galaxy Girls and Zodiac Sands because this again was one that I didn't have. I think I've got three or four actual physical boots and the rest are on PDF, and I wouldn't really mind having them all as physical boots because they are very, very pretty. So I, I have already finished a page in this and I'm, I'll try my best to skim past it. I can't remember whether I've shared it on Instagram. Um, yeah, I love that one. That, I think that wine is look really nice in pan pastels. Uh, I won't skip all the way through it because again, there's flip throughs out there. But uh, Kirsty has done a lot of lovely pages in this with the RT the pencils, I believe. Some really nice ones. So I think I'm going to try and pick one of the pictures that she's done and try and copy her, even the colours and everything. Uh, the next one's PDFs uh, of Etsy. Um, I've not actually showed these on the channel, but these are by uh, Colouring with Annie. Annie Colouring. She is on Instagram as well. So this is My Mythical Women Part 3. And I am really enjoying her, her art, and she was very kindly. Um, I asked her to draw me the dinosaur page, which I did last month. And she actually come out with a full dinosaur colouring book. So I'll just quickly skip through these and get to the dinosaur. This is um, the second one. So that's two separate PDF books from last month. Look, I'll show you that one. I just finished that a couple of days ago. So I don't know if it's meant to be a T-Rex or an Allosaurus. It looks more like an Allosaurus to me. Yeah, that's a sneak peek for next month. Well, hey. Dan, cute are these, I love them, absolutely love them. My plan is to colour every single one and I'm going to take the handling pages down that I've got in my daughter's room in frames and I'm going to switch them up for this because she does like dinosaurs. Thank Lord she likes dinosaurs. She watches a programme called, what is it? Andy's Dinosaur Prehistoric Adventure or something like that. See, I'm going to say I tried, but how cute are these? I just love every single one of them. She's called this one Anna um, and that's the actual front cover of the PDF book I believe. So that's the one that I have already done. Um, I've got a couple of other PDFs in here. Uh, that's another one that I've printed off and I've not yet started after me. I can't remember the artist of that. So that's the PDFs that I've been buying. Uh, back to the colouring books. So I got another Tim Jeffs book. I really enjoyed doing that other page. 
but I was just under the assumption that it would be a lot easier than it actually was. Um, I don't like to admit how long I spent on that, so that last page. But yeah, I, uh, even if I don't end up colouring these, which I will, I, you know, I will. I just love the artwork. I love flipping through it and seeing how realistic these images are. Oh, cute. Is that a gecko? I don't want half of these animals. Kangaroo, rhino, bee. I don't know what that is. Is that puma? I don't know what that's called. Is it a snow leopard? Iguana, heron. I feel like I'm back in school here and somebody's testing me. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, really nice boots. So I've got two of them now. So intricate ink, animal in detail, volume three. The other ones I can't get hold of at the minute for some reason. And again, because of the collection thing, I have to have the whole collection. I know it's terrible. Fairies in Dreamland, I've got the Mermaids one and the Groans in the Neighbourhood one. I had to, to order this one off uh, Book Depository. So that came in a normal post. But again, this one is an old one, so I'm sure you've uh, all seen flip throughs. But the other boots that I have coloured in, the paper is super nice and it's very good actually for alcohol markers. If you want to go in with alcohol markers and put a base over with uh, colour pencils. So look how thick the actual book is there. Super duper thick. I mean, you're definitely getting your money's worth with uh, these books. And one that I've been trying to get hold of for a little while. Again, I had to order it off. Deep book depository. I ordered it at the same time. I think this came about three days earlier. So the Enchanted Castles. I was only knowing about this because I don't tend to colour a lot of um, buildings. But now that I've got it and I've flipped through it, I can see so many pages that I do want to colour. I've actually got a work in progress at the minute in here. So look at this back page with the bats. How darn cute. Look at the little bats. And that's got to be so fun for Halloween. you got a couple of like Mandela pages. There's one. Is it a dragon or a phoenix? That's a lovely Christmas one. Lovely Christmas one. Uh, there's the phoenix one the unicorns my current whip at the moment that i'm just i've just used uh, all ink tents and there's a bit of gel pen a little sparkle um, but yeah so there's the dragon one that's the one that i'm gonna do at some point i don't want to say next that's the one that i'm definitely gonna do at some point i do love my dragons dragons dinosaur anything like that uh, right, that's the colouring boots done. So I went ahead and bought some pastel pencils. And the reason that I've bought these is I've been watching a few um, colouring fur tutorials and I really, really do struggle with colouring fur. And some of the artists were using these pencils. So I went ahead, I'm just looking for the swatches. There we go. That's this, so this is the 60 set. That I purchased. I do believe that this is the full set. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I have already took them out of the tin case that they came with. Right, I'm back. I had to knock at the door. So the pastel pencils, that's where I was up to. So yeah, the 60 set it did come with a kneaded eraser. Um, I have already drawn the background. I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out with these. Um, I do need to attempt some sort of fur because that's why I bought them but I'm just terrible at first so I thought you know what I'm going to try these I haven't bought any Fitzident to go with it which mm, I probably should because I'm still using her spray uh, so if anybody can recommend a good pastel Fitzident that I could use with my pan pastels as well that would be fantastic because uh, I have no idea uh, and the very no, I'm forgetting one thing. I'm forgetting one thing. Let me just move this. This cutting mat, I forgot about this. So this is by Tim Holtz uh, Tonic Studios, I believe is the make. And the main reason that I got this was this little handy bit at the side. So you can actually put watercolour on, acrylic, you can put ink, ink, 
all sorts to mix all your colours on here and then just use a baby wipe or you know, a damp cloth, anything and it's easy, clean so I've not got palettes everywhere, it's just all the, I mean you can use this bit as well but with that being white it's easier to see. So I do believe, I think I paid around £27 for this, very very sturdy glass, comfortable to work on. Uh, I can't actually show you, I might be able to come back a little bit to show you the full width of it. Like so, that's the size of my hand, so it is pretty big. And I've been working with it um, for a couple of nights now and this bit is certainly very very handy. So yeah, I do, I do like my cutting mat. I've started getting into a little bit more, well trying to, a little bit more crafting things. So I thought it would be handy. And the very last thing, I went ahead and got the luminants. I asked Sammy for her advice and she said that she loves them so I had to listen and I got them. So already I've took them out and put them in this gorgeous pencil case. This pencil case is quite padded after. Very nice. I wanted a really special pencil case for this one. So there they are in all the glory. You can see a couple of them I've uh, used quite a bit on. That was on that dinosaur picture. I'd already had the white, so I'll just keep uh, that one in here. Yeah, gorgeous colours. I did actually go for a bigger pencil case because I do believe that they're coming out with more, uh, more colours of luminance in September, I believe. So I just went ahead and got a bigger pencil case, um, and then when they come out, a new pencil, I can just pop them straight in here. So I do hope that you enjoyed the video and it's like I said it's not I didn't get all this stuff in one day it worked even one week this is a couple of weeks several weeks of me accumulating things um I'd just like to mention that half of this stuff as well was a present from my husband it's our anniversary on the 25th of May. Um, obviously we can't go out and celebrate and whatnot so he treated me and bought me well, he didn't actually buy them there. He gave me money and said, you order what you want. So that's what I did. So thank you very much, Danny. I know you really don't watch my videos, but thank you. If you do. Uh, I'm hoping to film a colouring chat, guys. Hoping, being the word. I'm really missing everyone. And I think to do with the giveaway, I think what I'm going to have to do is do it as in a video instead of doing it on live stream because I can't promise when I'm going to be on. So I do hope that's okay with everyone. I will try and link everything down below. I'm going to set the lid off this now because I'm going to use that this afternoon. All my pencils in it. Take it tonight. They're cute. So I'm just going to keep that on the side, I think. I wonder if I could put something over to protect that. Anyway, I could be talking to myself here and not video on it. Anyway, thank you very much, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Bye.